glad you could join me as we head on out on a beautiful, beautiful day here in Michigan. Come to realize there are more lakes in the state that I didn't realize. All right, we're in the beautiful community of Standish. Trying to make my way onto the uh, thoroughfare. Let's go! I remember when Standish was one of the main uh, communities you had to go through to head north before I-75. Look, an American tradition, A&W, all American food. Oh my goodness. In Standish, of course, and over on the billboard, Kogel Coney Dogs, a buck 99. Maybe for lunch. Now this intersection is usually really extremely busy still during the holidays rush up north, Memorial Weekend. We have online a uh, time lapse we did one Memorial Weekend here at the corner, right over there by the uh, train station. Yep, that's a train station right over there. Historic museum inside and everything, caboose cars and the whole kit and caboodle. The Standish Historical Depot. a video of that up online too in our Forbidden Michigan channel. Check it out! This is the former site of the Standish Maximum Correctional Facility. No photography or videoing there. They made a movie there once they, since they uh, no longer use it as a maximum correctional facility in the state of Michigan. I don't know, one or two movies made there? I'm not sure. I think they are doing some neat development there, but it was quite the large facility. Maximum security. Okay, we are going to head north to the post office, pick up the mail, then we had to head back and hit the old editing bricks, as they say. I-75 North, here we come. What a beautiful day, isn't it? Gorgeous. Looks like I've got the expressway all to myself almost this morning, but later on towards Memorial Weekend, this is going to be nearly bumper to bumper heading north. Had to stop here at the carpool in the West Branch. Little pit stop. Not for me. But for the little one here. <laughs> and there on the horizon is West Branch. Exit, uh, what is this? 212, yeah. Got all the major fast food chains there, plus an Applebee's, Ponderosa, let's see, McDonald's. We've got a Wendy's. Big Boy, Rallies. Oh. Tim Horton, let's see, Arby's, oh, there's something I'm missing here. Anyway, that's a good stop. Oh yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell. Lumberjack restaurant, uh, let's see, Quality Inn, they got a restaurant there. 
Plenty of places to eat. Exit 212. Time to hit the road, go downtown West Branch and pick up the mail. A little construction going on down at the industrial park in West Branch. Little Reds, remember that gas and stuff? It was uh, a drive through party store for West Branch. A little story behind the story, I remember when they were approving uh, the plans, the city, and getting ready for the renovations of this building, or the construction of this building. And the uh, inspiration was Disney. I can't remember the fella's last name. His name was Pete, he was the architect. And in his design, he had thought maybe, well, he was intrigued by Disney and the design of the 1890s, you know, gay 90s era. You can see here the influence, but you know, it uh, was quite a popular party store drive through And now it's going on to disrepair, but it's for sale. Someone can take this up and uh, really make a nice thing of it. But uh, you came through this back through here. That's the cemetery back through. You go through the back. Double doors. I don't know if even they do these things anymore, or drive through party store anymore or not, but uh, I thought it was really fascinating seeing the plans on paper before this was even established and even started to build when his inspiration was Disney. You can see that a little bit there. A little trivia. West Branch history. Man, this had to be back in uh, oh, the mid 70s, 1970s. Yeah, a lot of history here.